I'm Martin Rees, I'm a professor at Cambridge University and an astronomer. I also hold the title of Astronomer Royal um, and I'm at the moment also the President of the Royal Society of London. Most scientists are working very hard on their research. Uh, they do uh, engage with the public uh, as uh, an optional extra, as it were, and I think what they need is encouragement to do this. Um, they don't need direction, they don't need coordination, they just need encouragement, in my opinion, uh, because I myself uh, devote what spare time I have to engage with the public. And I think it's very important that this is something which should be encouraged. I think there's a limited scope for, co for coordination. Uh, we don't ask publishers to coordinate the books they publish. We just want as many good books as possible to be published, and I would say the same is true of science. We want to encourage as many people as possible uh, to uh, uh, extend their research work so that they can also engage with the public. And that's especially important, obviously, in scientific questions which uh, do relate to people, um, issues of uh, medicine, energy, and environment. There's of course a big educational problem in uh, attracting enough good and inspiring teachers into the schools. Uh, young people have an intrinsic interest in science, uh, whether it's in uh, um, dinosaurs, space or tadpoles, and the key thing is to maintain that interest through the secondary school age, because all too often uh, school teaching is not sufficiently uh, expertly given because we are very short of really qualified teachers, particularly in science and it's very important to turn that around, to ensure that uh, young people are not turned off science and scientific careers uh, by inadequate uh, teaching. And also I think practical work is very important in the schools. I think uh, uh, virtual reality is not enough. People need real reality and that's why laboratory work and field trips etc. are very important.